spent so much time, you know, building this community and, and now we're taking it digitally. And, you know, even the DevNet zone is digital this year. You're kind of like a walking DevNet zone there with that t-shirt and, and you have DevNet on your jacket as well. Here. Yeah, I, this is, uh, I, I got it from Susie on Monday. I was like, oh, I, I love it so much. <laughs> I have been all the time trying to support, although I was always scared to, well, to take the leap because initially the first step is the hardest one. You need to rethink it. And I'm, I'm a classical engineer. I've been learning about design and some other things, but then whenever I get to coding, well, I just think about true when I was at the university and I had to or well, do some projects and things. And I was always dropping until the last day. And okay, let me just do it quickly because I didn't like it. Um, uh, it wasn't the best I know. And uh, now, well, I, I decided to, well, dude, let's use the time we have and well, let's try to make it, well, <laughs> productive, at least up to some extent. So I took uh, the DevNet uh, training for, uh, sorry, the DevNet Fundamentals course. I took the DevOps course, Francisco Platinum Library. I took, I watched some other videos. I went through the learning labs in DevNet because it's massive. It has a ridiculous amount of labs and things to do. There's plenty of it. It's amazing. And then I, well, like, lastly, I took the exam. And if I am honest, and actually I tweeted this, when I was around question, I don't know, 70 something, 80, I just thought, oh, I'm done here. I'm not going to pass. <laughs> and then suddenly just next, next and boom. No, that's, that's awesome. And what are you going to do next? What's your new next plan for your DevNet learning journey? Well, I, I want to attempt, uh, well, to attempt will be the long-term goal, but of course, learn all the things related to the uh, automating enterprise networks exam. Because I currently work with SD WAN. Before that, I was doing I was working with ACI, so I was doing data center. With also, I was playing a little bit with uh, the APIs, and by the way, in the sandbox. So I was able to deploy a whole tenant that we had for one customer, well, a similar tenant. Well, I, of course, I changed some things. And well, when I saw it, I was like, okay, it works. It only took me a couple of seconds because as I build the the call and everything, and see, it works and. I didn't have to click and go through anything. It was just there. So the first time I did it, it was magic. It was like, wow, it works. And now, now it's becoming addictive because now you want to, you, you want to keep having this feeling. So some days ago, I was trying to get some configuration for several devices because I had to do some general change. And I had it scripted. And I love the feeling of just hitting enter and sitting here and waiting for all the configuration to just come to me. Oh, it felt like I have all the power in the world. And that feeling is irreplaceable. Speaking of the larger community, what does community mean to you? Well, that's, that's quite a complicated question because community is many things. For me, community, it's a place because it, it's, it's a place where you can go. It's a place where you can feel you belong to. It's a place where you can find some others, but also it's not just a place. It's also a feeling, the feeling of, of being welcomed, the feeling of being invited, the feeling of having a place where you can always go and the door will be always open. The community is a group of people that will always be checking on you, and not only professionally, which have done a lot for me, because my career has been built based on not all about the community, but in the professional level, but also in the personal level. I had some friends that they are, they are quite close friends of mine, like Daniel Deeb, like Peter Paolo, Rika Sibonen, or Elvin Arias. And I met them through the community because everything started with the community in Cisco Learn Network, then with the VIP program in Twitter. And all of these, or, or I would say that the place where I am now is just a, a product, it's just a consequence of a continuous engagement. And the community is the place where you engage with others in a personal and professional level. It's the place where, where you go and you would feel that nobody would, nobody would really push you back. Actually, they will tell you, hey, what were you waiting for? And this is what Cisco Lab is about. It's about people. It's about this community gathering, getting all together. We are meeting, we're talking, we're sharing a coffee. Some people go to drink after, but I don't know anything about it. Don't remember. I don't know about but, that. No, I, I'm but always it's, working. It, yeah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, it's about sharing and caring. And for me, community is one of the best things I, I have ever met, honestly.